you are, you are the alpha male. Like, you're going out and doing this all the time. Tremendously uncomfortable. Um, uh, that's funny. I, uh, I don't really like so many new sensations. It's tough to know, like, what's, like, what's due to what. And, uh, the second thought that ran through my head was, wait a second, do I have an STD? <laughs> Inside the condom. This is ridiculous. Um, so that was the assumption I ran with. It was like, oh, fuck you, Cheryl. How could you do this to me? Dude, you're welcome. I'm sorry, what? Um, and I called in sick to work the next day, and I, I went into the doctor, I, I went to the, to the clinic, um, and there was a uh, this beautiful woman um, who was actually <laughs> was sitting in the waiting room. This beautiful woman came in, this beautiful young woman, and I just assumed that she was like a volunteer or like a nurse or something. Like I, it did not cross my mind that this woman was a doctor at all. And it wasn't just because she was a woman, it was like mostly the age and just the attractiveness. Like this woman didn't have to be a doctor. She didn't want to. <laughs> like, she had options. She, she could have played a doctor on TV. Like, that gorgeous. Like, she could have worked at the Cactus Club. <laughs> Did not have to be a doctor. Uh, and so I asked her, What are you doing here? And she said, well, I finished medical school, so the clinic seemed like the logical next step. What are you doing here? I was like, I would rather explain to another person. <laughs> I'd rather talk to uh, someone who looks like this guy. Like, you know, Aww. You'd be the perfect doctor. Uh, <laughs> oh man, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> so the way you said that was very threatening. Um, but I, tr I trust you somehow. I think it might be the hat. It might be. Oh uh, man. Um, the thing about the thing about that situation is is part of me really wanted to like part of me was like well, maybe I should think some thought like I, I want to seem a bit more impressive like I, I don't want to like maybe I should try and redirect just mentally redirect a little bit of blood to that area just so that I you know seem <laughs> more <laughs> the problem is you don't want to overshoot like you don't want to <laughs> like uh, is there something wrong with this? And then just like, it's it's right there. Uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, I, I, I can't get that target. I can't stay in that. I don't... So I, I um... <laughs> oh, man. I'm filming this. You're filming this. Oh, I'm going to report you to YouTube. I'm going to find this on YouTube. I'm just like clicking, like flagging, like... <laughs> you know, like stolen content, pornography, like I've seen it. Just, <laughs> you know what I should do is I should actually whip my dick out. Oh, just so that you can post it on YouTube. Like just be like, this is violating the guidelines. Um, uh, guys, I've attempted to mash like three like separate jokes that I had into like this one thing, this one doctor story, and. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how it started. <laughs> the ending, like the three endings, like do not mix in any meaningful way. Um, so needless to say, I, I found out that no STD, uh, it's just a latex allergy. I was like, damn it. If only I had a lab. Uh, <laughs> which is the name of my, that's what I'm going to call my one, my one night show. <laughs> West Lord. If only I had a lab. And you guys were here to witness it. Uh, I'm going to 